Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to a Thursday night stream with Oxygen Not Included. Of course, this is the second day of the week that we play Oxygen Not Included, and we're back with the colony that we've been building for quite some time. Uh, I think we're at, like, I don't know, this has got to be episode 6 or 7 on this colony, maybe, I think. But um, it's grown fairly, uh, fairly significant in size. So we originally started off with just the core area, but we've started to expand outwards. Of course, on the last stream, we were working on the luxury apartment area over here of the fancy new Ritz-Carlton uh, Duplicant Studios. So we've got a couple of those over here. They're almost finished now. Just a couple more things they need to build in here in terms of lighting and some uh, some plates and stuff. Uh, now, Durgan was looking for a two-level apartment, so we're actually going to have to build a second level down here to finish off her unit, uh, and then that will be all finished up. But what I kind of wanted to do today is, uh, is go down and check out this copper volcano. We started to expose it. Oh, actually, I can see the top of it here now. Uh, we started to expose it before... Uh, so we could try to like do analyze it and stuff, but uh, we didn't expose enough of it to analyze it. So I don't know what the eruption pattern is of it yet, uh, but I do know it's hot. The copper comes out of this thing at 2,226.9 degrees Celsius, which is just a little bit on the warm side. Uh, we might need a small amount of air conditioning to control that heat. <laughs> uh, but I kind of want to dig into that and see what the deal is with, with that, because I haven't dug into a copper volcano before. Actually, any volcano, I guess, uh, since they added it to the game. But in general, we do still have some heat issues to try to take care of in our colony, too. The lower part of the colony's gotten a little bit of warm. Uh, the upper part we got control of by using an air conditioning system with our incoming airflow. However, by opening up this new area, we've added a little bit of extra heat. So things are a touch on the warm side here. Not crazy hot, but a little warm. Helpful King, $10 super chat. Hi, Cryptic. Haven't been able to catch the streams due to overtime. Well, welcome back. I'm glad you were able to make it back to the stream. Your duplicate is still alive, and he still has his fancy apartment up here. Uh, so thank you again for the super chat and the support. So we'll see what the deal is with the uh, with that fancy copper volcano, though. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to have to build probably another another oxygen production setup over here because, as you can see, we have quite a bit of oxygen on this side, but it, it's a little bit uh, it's not really moving too quickly over to this area. Instead, as we cut into this spot, we had to share the oxygen. We've gotten a lower concentration of oxygen in this area. Uh, it's going to get more and more. Uh, as time goes by, this is going to get uh, more and more, less and less, I guess, will be the amount of oxygen we have over here. So we'll have to do something about that, probably relatively quickly, so that our duplicates don't suffocate while they're sleeping in their fancy, posh apartments over here. So we're probably going to need a second one of these oxygen chambers. Um, now, these are relatively they're relatively small, but the issue is more so going to be the amount of water that's going to take to make it run. Uh, we do have the geyser up top here that we found that produces some water, but this is actually not really very much, all things considered. I don't know what the deal is with this thing. It's dormant now. Uh, this one has a dormancy period. Actually, it hasn't been reviewed, so we don't know what the dormancy period is. It could be a really long time. It could be a short time. and We don't really know until we actually crack into it and find out. Uh, which pretty much just leaves this one pool of water as our source of water. Uh, this one we've been using to actually gather bottled water to do things like producing food and watering plants and changing out hand-washing stations and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think we're, probably we're going to need to focus on oxygen sooner rather than later. I think just because we aren't really going to have time to sit and wait on it. Um, we could try and build the oxygen production in one of these other areas. The, the challenge I'm going to have is if I dig into a space down here to produce oxygen, we're going to be in a spot that's pretty warm. Uh, up here, I mean, this was just on the edge of the swamp biome. So it was a little bit on the warm side. It's like 40, well, 30 some odd degrees around here. So I guess it's fairly comparable, actually, if we dig over here. Uh, germs, of course, still being a problem. But I think my primary concern is really just going to be, are we going to have enough water to run two of these things at once? Uh, I think we'll be okay for now. We did pump out some polluted water from over here. See another ice biome over here. Uh, we might be able to find some other little pockets of polluted water that we can clean up, but otherwise we might have to try and figure out some sort of water production system as well. But welcome everyone who's here so far in the, uh, in the stream and the chat. I uh, appreciate everyone coming to hang out again tonight. And uh, as always, there are a few of you here chatting ahead of time, which is always great. Uh, our plants have stopped growing also. It's good that we have a huge amount of food. We have 338,000 kilocalories. But uh, things are a little on the toasty side down here. So we're just not... Uh, things aren't going so well. And we seem to have lost our Drecos. Um, I don't think they got out this time. I don't know if it was a bug and they just kind of despawned or if they actually hit their end of life cycle and they sort of died off on us. Because if you click on... Oh, man, look at all the sage hatches we have now. This is good. Oh, our hatch population has really dwindled also. I think... So we're at cycle 186, so I think we might actually just be getting to that point where... 
Uh-oh, expecting. This critter has slowed its reproduction to wait for its new member of the family to arrive. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. All right. Uh, reproduction, 82%. Age 33 of 100. So this one still has a fair number of cycles to go. And I think some of these ones, they're, they're pretty young, so they should have a fair amount, too. Uh, Glum expecting. Everybody's expecting. Sunny shine of egg. Oh, sage hatch. There we go. That wasn't... It was clicked on the wrong thing. This was 21 of 100 cycles. So I, I think we might have just hit, like, hit the limit on those Drekos. Uh, which might actually be okay. It might be okay. We weren't getting plastic into them anyway. We are just getting some reed fiber, which we used to make our exosuits, which I guess is okay, but... Not really the intention of what I got in the form in the first place. Uh, we have this sealed off here. Might as well just, you know what, let's just take all this. Take all this stuff. We'll get those Drekos out of there. And then we might even be able to just wrangle them and stick them back in here. Have our own little little Dreko farm again. Okay, so oxygen I think is going to be step number one. Because uh, I don't want the duplicates to die while we're trying to uncover the volcano. Um, so where am I going to put this thing? 44 degrees down here, but I don't have to worry about germs if I go down here, and I think that might be that might be optimal. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's chlorine and stuff down here, which isn't great. But, you know what? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna try and build my little oxygen chamber down here. So, in terms of a layout, I want to copy what we have up top. Uh, we need a gas pump. Of course, to remove the, uh, the hydrogen. Uh, oops, I just shouldn't have clicked out of that yet. We should get a second gas pump right away. Uh, we'll do another gas pump down here. This one is going to be for the oxygen. Uh, we'll draw a little pattern around this thing. Nope, that's not right. It's not right. Okay, we like that. And then across this way, we need two wide so that we can have the room for... Oh, uh, yeah, that's just, just derping the whole thing up. Did I make it... Did I take it further over than that? I did. I did. We want to cancel this. We're going to shift the, this little, little pump just one more little block over. Cancel this. This will be our general room layout. And then we're going to have airflow tile in here. And we'll throw our oxygen production electrolyzer right on there. Like so. Um, so when it comes out of there, we're obviously going to need some wheeze warts and stuff. And I don't know what we have seed-wise in place here. If we can find our seeds. Organic seeds. There we go. Uh, do we have wheeze warts? Wart seeds. We only have one. Only one. But there are more growing down here. So it's not like we can't get our hands on them. We'll just have to send people down there to go get them, I guess, as a matter of priority. For that new oxygen room, maybe use isol uh, isolated tiles so the room doesn't get warm over time. Yeah, I really should actually use insulated. Um... That figure is not that I've drawn it. I can't, uh, can't just redo it. All right. Uh, we have a fair amount of abyssalite. I might even use abyssalite tiles in here. Actually, in which case, there's not much point in using insulated tiles when I can just use abyssalite regular tiles. Kind of a, they accomplish basically the same thing, but they cost less. Uh, so we'll just do that. So redraw all this. There we go. Tile, abyssalite, like so. There we go. So that'll be our little room. Uh, I'm going to get into it from the bottom here, I think. That's probably the most efficient way. We'll have some issues with chlorine and stuff when we do this, but uh, it won't really be that bad. So I'm all the way up top here. I'm going to set priority uh, four on this whole wall here and this one here. So they'll do that stuff last, but the rest of it they can actually build as they're ready to do it. And then we'll use that as our oxygen supply. Now things are really warm down here, so it's going to have to run through a cooling system the same way as we have up above. Uh, and that's going to take a little bit of additional work, but we'll get there. Maybe we're going to use some doors on your hydrogens, oxygen hydrogen setup door so you can get in and out without destroying the same tile over and over. Yeah, you probably could do that too. That's probably a good idea. But you being all smart and stuff. Uh, that was largely because I sort of messed stuff up, and then when I needed to go back in to, to sort it out, it would have been handy to have it set up that way. So let's just do that. This way we won't block ourselves in in a way we can't get in here. There. That'll take care of that. Thank you for the reminder. Doors and oxy room! 
Laziness. That's right. It's all about the laziness. More suits. Yes, we do have... Um, we do have three of them down here. We should probably build another one. Uh, let's see. Stations. We'll need another exosuit dock. I can go here. Connect that to our power supply. Man, these things are they're actually get a little hefty on the power consumption. 840. That's pretty much going to tap out our, our max power scenario. Connect all that. So we've got oxygen supply. We're going to need another suit. Hopefully we have plenty of reed fiber since our Drekos are dead now. Poor Drekos. We knew him well. We don't have enough. Missing 300 kilograms of copper ore. What? How is that even possible? I've got raw metal. Oh, man, I actually tapped it all out. How about that? Ha! Huh. Who knew? All right. Well, I guess we got to get copper. That's where that copper volcano would come in handy, because I actually don't have all that much copper left in here. Uh, I have almost no copper left in here. ruh -roh. Well, there's an issue I wasn't really expecting to run into. Okay, let's throw a ladder in here. I guess we can dig some of this out. We got a little bit of copper here. I don't know how much we're going to get. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, but otherwise, I've just about tapped out my copper reserves. We should stop building with copper. I feel like that would be a good idea. <laughs> Speaking of, let's cancel these and we'll build them out of, the, out of different materials rather than copper. Actually, that... Man, all that was out of... Not in copper anyway. Oh, great. That's, um... Yeah, good times. All right. Gas pump. Didn't realize that was already out of copper before I started doing that. See, this is one of those things where you just get the chance to just replace everything over and over again just for the you know, fun of it kind of thing. It's a good thing we have lots of iron, but it's funny that that's actually specifically requiring copper. I thought you could use any metal. Carbon airlock. Sorry, I missed something there. Using a CO2 airlock. What did I miss? Something about the airlock. Critical area isn't sealed off. You added the water to the water lock yet. Oh, yeah, I'm using a CO2 lock instead. So, in this case, uh, there's a little pocket of CO2 that's trapped in here that stops gases from passing through because they won't change places. Uh, carbon dioxide always wants to sit in the lowest area you can get to, so it doesn't tend to move upwards. Unless there's no gas pressure on the other side, and then it expands, but it'll still ma maintain the spot that it's in. So this is what's actually blocking the flow of gases, and then our little duplicates don't have to get all wet feet and stuff either. Uh, let's see if... Oh, oh, the poor little guy took a plunge. It's like a skydiving Dreco. Okay, we'll try and wrangle those guys up and put them back in our little pen. Ooh, they're not really going to have much to eat in here, though, because things are not growing very well. Not growing very well at all. I think, uh, I have this wheeze ward down here to try to cool things off, but I really should just put that, like, right in the Draco area. Try to cool the plants off as best we can. Uh, I did build some ice in here, and it's, uh, I don't know if it's cooled things down or not, but we'll try again. Uh, we'll go back to furniture, we'll put some more ice sculptures in here. Oops. Just clicked. Derpy click. I don't know if it made a whole lot of difference in the water temperature, but things are toasty in this water. 38.9 degrees. We're not even cleaning anymore. Like, it's just it's just sitting there. Why don't you build the old two-room in the ice biome? It'll be cooled by natural environment. Yeah, that's a good idea. We could do that. Uh, it's a little ways away, though, so we'll have to pipe it up there. But that's really not so bad. The tricky part is just that it's really cold down here, but I guess the the uh, the heat for the machines should be fine. That might take up a few problems for us. Um, so now that I've drawn that a couple times, let's draw it again. You know, just for uh, just for fun and giggles and stuff. Because <laughs> I like drawing everything a hundred times over. Oh God, Ermagerd. All right. It's not that far away. I really, it would be nice to have the other one down in the ice biome too, but uh, I'm not about to go about moving that. Uh, this one I'm not going to insulate, specifically because we're already in the ice biome. Imagine that. We go like so, like so, and like uh, something's not right here. Ah, that's fine. It's all good. I see what it is. I had an extra little, extra little extension drawn in there. I didn't mean to do. Okay, so and then in here, oh, we gotta cancel this, cancel this, and this. We'll throw doors in, so we can get in there easily. 
Airflow towel is made out of iron because we don't have better materials. Well, actually, the iron's pretty good, but we just don't have other materials in the form of copper. That, we're going to need a ladder. Ta-da! We'll see how that goes. It'll keep... The, this will be really cold initially, but when the machines start to run, they'll come out of here heated, and then hopefully, as it travels through, it will kind of cool down. We can actually send an insulated pipe out of here, and then measure what the, the temperature looks like when it comes out, and then adjust segments on the pipe with uh, some that will allow for more heat transfer to try to cool it down as it passes through, and try to strike the perfect balance if we can. What do I have going on here? What was this pipe about? I totally don't remember. Oh yeah, that was when we piped in the... Uh... Right. Oh, when we piped in some H, uh, some hydrogen. That's what that was. Uh, get rid of the... Let's get rid of this whole gas pipe. Save on clutter. Meal what doesn't care about gas and it grows in. It actually does now. It didn't used to, but now it does. Uh, so if you look at the gases for the mealwood, it, it's now specifically requiring an atmosphere that's oxygen, polluted oxygen, or carbon dioxide. But the big issue here is is less about the hydrogen and more about uh, more about the uh, the temperature that it's at right now because it's sitting in carbon dioxide, which it'll grow in, so that's fine. Uh, the issue is just that uh, it's too hot. Things are a little spicy in there. What would happen if you open up that volcano and it flowed into the ice biome? You'd probably get a lot of melted <laughs> a lot of melted stuff. So you'd get you would get cooled uh, cooled metal so it would harden up and you'd get melted ice biome. So you'd get kind of a interesting blend of the two. There is a base down here we got we haven't checked out yet either. Which we should do at some point. I feel like we're neglecting things if we don't uh, find out what the alien master race left behind for us. What is that? That's just ice or something. We need a whole bunch of these wheeze warts to cool off different areas of the base because things have gotten a little bit too, a little bit too spicy. It should change the name from slime lung to linguini. Linguini. Oh my gosh, <laughs> linguini. Start coughing up noodles everywhere. Okay, so again, uh, we can see the oxygen supply is good over here. It's getting very light over here. And I gotta figure out something to do with the carbon dioxide that's down here too, because that's that's not a cool, it's not a cool at all. I kind of think I want to pump it out of here and send it down here where we can scrub it or something. Maybe down into this area. What have we got going on? Is there water on the ground? There is. They got soggy feet. How did they get water on the ground here? Pump that up, please. This too. Stop getting your feet wet. In the debuff for no reason at all. Uh, oh, did we get that? I think we got that copper. Are you kidding me? How do we got? How do we have no copper ore? I just dug some out of here. What did I use it on? That's ridiculous. Okay, well I, I must have a copper wire here we can salvage. I feel like we're gonna turn into like the salvage company. We're gonna go around and try and find all the things we built out of copper before. And we'll just chop all those up. Let's get our get our wiring back and stuff. Is there? There's gotta be excess wiring here somewhere we don't need. Yeah, look at all this. Look at all this fancy wiring right here we can. Just rip out of the walls. It'd be like House Flipper in reverse. Like House Wrecker. The Home Wrecker Squad. If you drop polluted water, you will get dirt and refined copper. If you drop polluted water, you will get dirt and refined copper. I'm confused what you mean. What do you mean drop polluted water on it? Yeah, because when, uh, when you evaporate polluted water, you get dirt. So you can do that a variety of different ways. Obviously with the, with the copper, that's one way because it's crazy super hot. We might even be able to create like a hot plate scenario. So if we take the, uh, where is it here? If we take the what comes out of this and we use metal tiling, uh, this stuff here, the metal tile. Let's see, decor overheat temperature plus 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, oh, we have to make this out of refined metals. So if we use the metal tile though, we can actually use that as a heat conducting plate. So we might be able to build like a scenario over here where there's this heat conducting plate fueled by the heat from the volcano to run and like drip dirty water on it. So we could take like this dirty water, for example, we could drip it on there. It will evaporate, turn it into steam, which we can condense into clean water, kill off the germs, and also get dirt. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. 
Good morning, Vietnam! Hey, Raging Canadian. How are you doing? I haven't seen that movie in forever. That was a good movie. Should send the volcano to the ice biome to get water and copper. Yep. Yeah. Well, like I said, we could do that. We could. But it might also heat up our, our cold biome a whole lot. Um, and we might want to make use of this cold biome. I mean, maybe we could, like, like, cordon off an area of it or something and use it as our cooling point. Uh, that copper will come in handy, though, because we pretty much cleaned out all the rest of the copper, it seems. Uh, we got, oh, ah, oh, we had copper ore again. Where did it go? What are they using the copper ore for? Do I have something queued up here? No, I don't. Where is our copper ore going? It keeps vanishing. There. 95.8 kilograms. They have some. Just wait. They're going to use it like any second now. They'll be like, ha, fooled you. They'll be gone. How big is this room? Uh, this is 95 tiles, so I can take that one out. We'll be at 96, so that's okay. 95.8 kilograms. I need 300 kilograms to make the suit, and I can't scrounge enough copper anywhere. Hopefully they break this stuff up. Let's throw a little priority on this. Give me a, give me a priority six over here for salvaging the copper. It's a great copper salvage operation. All the copper's in the fire pool. Ooh! You're right. No, Wolframite. We made that out of Wolframite. Oddly enough. I don't know why I did, but we didn't know iron ore. What do we got down here? What do we got down here? Fire pole, properties, iron ore. Nope, we didn't use it in that. I used it somewhere. And we could probably take this. This is probably made out of copper. Nope, that's iron ore too. I don't know where we used it. We used it somewhere though. It's like the de default. Oh, wait a minute. That's really funny. I'm trying to build an exosuit, and there's an already... Oh, they already made it. That's what they use the car. <laughs> I am so smart. SMRT. <laughs> we, had a, we had an exosuit already queued up. So I was like, where'd my copper go? But it's because they were using it for exactly what I wanted them to. You know, because I'm smart that way. <laughs> I didn't build the... I, I didn't build the fire pole out of copper. It's fine. Uh, okay, so we have another exosuit. We can deliver it here. Get that taken care of. Now we'll have four little exosuited guys that we can have running around. That'll be good. I feel like that'll be good. Um, I should probably block this off and make them go the route of using the suits to get down here. Eventually. If we take it through here, I can... Hold on. Let's throw like a... Let's deconstruct this. We're going to block this off. We'll dig a little tunnel through here. And we'll give them a route to get down to the volcano area. So they have to use the exosuits when they go out of the main calling area. That'll hopefully help the, their stress, because they kind of be getting a little on the high side. And I also want to get to Durgan down there to check out the volcano. <laughs> That's right, SMRT. SMRT. I am so smart. Everybody loves me. I am so smart. SMRT. I mean SMART. Show me the oxygen. Well, I mean, nobody's going to suffocate at least. At least, at least. Jai. Hey, Jai. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, rest in P, SMRT number one. Make the miners and architects priority very high and turn off the rest. What I, you know what? I've, I've swapped people around in jobs lately and I haven't really looked at the priorities. I probably should. What do we got going on here? Rancher's got a high combat, that's fine. Farming ranching. Why is he not max? Whoops, max priority for ranching. Clearly, I haven't been I haven't been paying attention to anything at all. <laughs> I haven't swapped these around in forever. Uh, chef, that's fine. Season rancher, that's fine too. We'll prioritize that. Uh, suit engineer, season miner. We want mining set as a high priority. Or dig. There we go. There are two for Harpreet. Uh, architects are all about the building. Do we have any architects? I don't think we do. Aaron's unemployed, though, and so is Snoops. So maybe we should look at making some architects here. Okay, researcher, sous chef, art student, groundskeeper. Where's our... Oh, there it is. Man, I can't even see stuff that's, like, right in front of my face. I'd like to say I'm surprised, but, you know, not so much. Ooh. 
Aaron will be a good architect. He's got six in construction. Let's make him an architect. Um, you know, what? let's make Snoop. Let's, let's make Snoop's an architect too. We might as well have two of them. Ooh, and it, it's actually a favored thing for him too. So he'll actually get some skill out of it quickly. All right, two architects we have. Uh, we'll go back to our priorities list and grab both of them. He says he's unemployed, but we know better. They both do. They gotta get to the jobs board. Hi, right, JPEG. Still need a door for the mess hall. Oh, yeah, because it's not a mess hall right now. That's a very good point. Very good. Uh, we'll use the pneumatic door. Let's not make it out of copper. Let's make it out of iron, since we have oodles and scads of iron. There we go. We'll do that. So they got our proper room placement back for that thingamajobby. Why is this not a relaxation room? What am I missing here? Is it art recreation room? De oh, it needs a decoration item. That's what we're missing in here. Uh, furniture, canvas. Put a little decoration in there. Make sure they de-stress effectively. We don't want the duplicates living in the Hotel Ritz to be too stressed about their highfalutin high lifestyle. So we gotta give them some paintings and things to make them feel a little better about themselves. You heard your name, you do end science? <laughs> yeah, so we need you to come down here at some point and check out this copper volcano to tell us what the eruption cycle is gonna be. Uh, but we need to uncover more of it because I've had that queued up forever and you haven't gotten down to do it. So I'm thinking it must be something to do with like not having enough of it uncovered. Everyone but the unemployed has mastered their jobs. Have they? That's all right. That's, uh, that's all right. Not really in a huge rush to bump anybody up, to be honest with you. Uh, okay, so for our engineers, we want them on building. Oops, no, not that way. We want this way. You go build. Build like the building people you are. That'll be good, because now hopefully they'll go do this a little bit sooner. Mastering jobs. Uh, we can bump them up to a higher minor. Or Preet, there you go. Durgan's got the whole courier thing figured out, so let's let's you know what? Let's put Durgan on an exosuit engineer now. Durgan, you're getting like all the math skills going on here. You've got the high science, you got gophering, you've got other stuff. I, I don't remember what else I gave you to be honest. I, I'm pretty sure this is like your third job. Uh we can move Kev up as well to a courier position. Where's Kev? There we go. We got Kev covered. We can move right mag ugh. Magnus up to a plumber. And you know what? Let's bump up cooking on Lauren. She's been hanging around like a master sous chef forever. We'll give her a promotion. I don't want to feel guilty about, you know, not uh, not promoting her. Not giving her job opportunities and stuff. It's an equal opportunity colony. That's what I say. Any duplicate can get ahead, even the chef. All this computer hacking is making you thirsty. Where's your tab? But I'm bump. Decons are out of reach. What's this now? What's this now? Aaron assigned. I'm not sure I understand what you mean about decons. Too wide gap can't be jumped. Oh, right here. Yeah. Bloop. There we go. I feel like when they've got this like this power suit on, it should give them like super jump ability. I think they should be able to jump across that gap. I feel like that is the thing to make them do, but uh, clearly the game disagrees, so we'll take care of it. Okay, whatever. This guy's gonna need a door now to get over to this yaw area. Okay, so now when they go out here with their suit, they've got a crazy ant's nest kind of network to kind of work their way through. All that to put like one piece in place, honestly? Come on, buddy. There you go. What the? Oh, no. That's the problem. Am I making that out of Abyssalite? I bet you I am. Because I'm so smart. We're going to draw this thing for like the fifth time tonight because I'm not intelligent enough. Okay, I'm waiting for Abyssalite. It really is Abyssalite. Ugh. Okay. I forgot. I changed it to Abyssalite material when we were drawing it the other time. I don't want to waste all my Abyssalite here. That's just a complete waste. Um, particularly since I kind of want the cold air to get in a bit. So let's see. Let's go with uh, some Obsidian. Obsidian will be a good thing to make this out of, I think. 
Hopefully, this is the last time I'm going to have to draw this thing. Because I feel like we've done it like a hundred times now. The shoot, Yeah, the suits do slow them down unless they have the ability to... Uh, which one is it? Jobs, jobs, jobs. If they have the Exosuit Engineer ability, so Durgan and Elf Wolf King will be able to move at regular speed. Everyone else wearing the suit slows down. So, again, you're like superpowers. You've got it all down. Durgan needs to be tenured to research Volcano. Uh, she does have tenured scientists already. We already maxed her out in the scientist capabilities. Uh, so she can uh, she can research it. I maxed her out in science, doing all the research and things. And when we finished that, I bumped her down to a courier. So she went from being like this highfalutin researcher down to like the person who works in the mailroom. We, we got her covered. <laughs> I think the slow down suit animation should look like slow motion moonwalking. Oh, that would be neat. If they were like bouncing slowly. Get that little like floaty walk as they step. That would be great. <laughs> I'd be on board for that. Okay. Sending water in here, we of course have to make sure it's not going to freeze. Uh, we also have to make sure we can even pipe it down here. This will be interesting. Where, oh where. Insulated pipe. We'll use some of this fancy... Oh, you know, let's use something that's thermally non-reactive. That would be good. Insulated pipe, uh, thermally reactive, slow heating for igneous rock. Suffocating, who is suffocating? Harpreet. Alright, they're up there mining away at the stuff I told them to do forever ago, and they're finally doing it. Uh, now that I don't actually need them to. Because I totally abandoned that construction job. Okay, you go, guy. <laughs> you, get, you get done what you need to up there, I guess. Just don't get too many germs. Okay, uh, plumbing. Insulated pipe, let's go with igneous rock, because it's slow heating, I guess. Overheat temperature, but I don't really know. I don't really know. I never really paid a whole lot of attention to the actual rock properties, and I probably should. But, frankly, I'm lazy, uh, and that just doesn't cater to my laziness. So let's pump it down here. It's going to be a long Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not the way we want to go. Okay, we're going to go this way. We sent insulated piping all the way down to yaw. Uh, follow the follow the yellow brick road all the way down here to down here to over here to like boom, Bob's your uncle. That's a long way to go. <laughs> Gonna have to get some power production down here too, which will probably represent uh, an equally challenging job. I don't have any natural gas production. That kind of irritates me. How is our coal while I think of it? Uh, consumable ore. We have 298 kilograms of coal. So obviously we need some of that. Fortunately, there's tons of it here. And all this here, please. Dig me the coals. You might want to check that because you thought it was the actual job you needed, not just the, not just the skill. Uh, nope, it's fine. I'm 100% I'm certain. 100%. We got this. 100%. Where did this water come from? Didn't I already have to mop this up? Did I cancel the mop job? Did we get more water somehow? Oh, you know what? Maybe when they were carrying the ice back. Oh, I, I bet you that's it. I bet you when they were carrying the, they were carrying the ice back, some of it melted. Because they, they were building these things again. So we're like 33 degrees. We, we dropped another couple degrees in the water here. That's actually doing a pretty good job. Aside for the fact that we're making a mess on the way. That's okay. It actually it actually boosts our water supply there. Cools it at the same time. And this Dreco has not been wrangled. Get him in there. How did that Dreco get out of there? I thought I had both of them marked for wrangling, but I don't, I don't know. Well, whatever. Should make a playlist of background music that isn't copyrighted for this stream. Yeah, that's the tricky part, is finding non-copyrighted music that um, is also family-friendly that I'm going to want to listen to. <laughs> it would be handy, though, I guess, yeah. I see on Twitch a lot of people using copyrighted music, and I don't, I don't know how long they're going to get away with that for, but... Am I going to do an MTV Cribs on the new rooms? <laughs> I don't know about that. But we have them up here. They're, they're just about finished now, actually. Uh, ooh, we don't have the power for the lighting, though. I've been negligent. Uh, we were going to do some timers on the lights, if I recall correctly. Unfortunately, these only take, like, five power. Uh, did I just use copper? Uh, 
iron. Woo! All right. Got to save the copper because we don't have a lot of it. Um, okay. So those will get connected. We want actually these to be on day timers. So we're going to need an automation sensor. Uh, hydro sensor. Clock sensor. There we go. We'll just tuck that out here. Throw on a little automation wire. Like so. Making this out of refined metal. That's good. And this one too. We'll set all of them on the same timer. When they get that built, we'll set the clock timer so that at nighttime the lights will go off and in the daytime the lights will turn on. Might be able to go hotel. Practically, we had a bunch of people that wanted to have some luxury rooms, so I started building luxury space for everybody. I've been toying with smart batteries controlling the hydrogen gas pump instead of an Atmos sensor. Have you considered trying that? Um, yeah, except that um, in this instance. My primary concern with that is that in this little room here, um, there's more hydrogen being produced by the electrolyzer than oxygen, I th think. I think, I think. Hold on, where is that thing? No, that can't be the case. No, it's not. Okay, so 888 grams per second and 112 grams per second of hydrogen. So my only concern is that this generator consumes 100 grams per second of hydrogen. This produces 112 grams per second. So if this stops running and just sits idle for a while while this continues to build up, over time, we'll fall behind on the hydrogen and it will overtake more of the space that's in here. So my primary concern with the hydrogen generator over here was really more about destroying the hydrogen than it was about producing power anyway. So you're right, I probably should put it on smart batteries, but I'm likely not going to just because uh, I just want it to destroy the hydrogen. Yeah, the colony will be a hotel by the time Durgan's done with it. It'll be the Ritz Carlton over here. It'll be the, the or the Ritz Duplican. Wolframite. Why do I have, I don't even know why I built this out of Wolframite. That must have been an accidental click. We need iron. Not Wolframite. There. Finish that out with something we can actually use. That would be novel. Ooh, look, stuff's growing down here again, even though the temperatures aren't that great. How did that grow so much? This is cooling stuff, I guess, which is good. Things are a little on the warm side in here, but not too crazy. Uh, I should really put... Where's my furniture? I should put a little plant in here. We'll put a wheeze ward in here. Try to cool stuff down that way, too. Also, Fox, you can use a vacuum barrier to prevent heat from the volcano from getting to the base. You could do that, too. Yep. So it, uh, if you can create a space around it and pump all the gas out, you get a vacuum. And, of course, the vacuum doesn't allow for as much heat transfer. Um, so that's a good idea. Um, you can also just do double thick double thick walls of insulated tile also seem to accomplish just about the same thing. Cryptic Vox Suites, that's right. It's the Cryptic Carlton. Cryptic Carlton Battery Park. We'll put like a whole bunch of batteries next to it and call it Battery Park. <laughs> Love the paintings in your suite. The screaming dupe in the middle knows something about the uh, the dupe Elisa. We don't. It's a screaming sandwich. Ah! <laughs> it doesn't like being stuck between the dupe Elisa. Polani, thanks. You just explained all my oxygen problems. I did. I don't even know what I did, but thank you. I appreciate the super chat. You're awesome. Okay. Build, build, build. Build, 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 build. Dun, 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 I need power. I need power. So all our power generation right now is happening up here. Where's our power grid? If I tap into any of the systems that are down here, I'm going to overload them. Because I have... I've pretty much extended the power system down here as much as I can. I mean, theoretically, I guess we could put another... We could put another carbon system... Or, we could just make a point of, of, of using this one in a way that it should run consistently and feed itself. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. But it is going to need a Kickstarter, so to handle that, we will put a little manual generator here. A duplicate in a spacesuit can run on the manual generator to get it started. And then, once they have it started, we'll have this sitting out here. This isn't really going to connect to the power grid at all because our primary concern, again, is going to be to destroy hydrogen and produce power that will keep the system sort of self-perpetuating. Uh, but we'll put this out here with a little... 
A little thing I can't find because I'm blind. There you are. She's iron because it's cold out here. Baby, it's cold outside. Okay. A little gas pipe out of here. This one is just going to connect right into this. Boop. Like so. Uh, we're going to need batteries out here too, actually. Just because this thing needs to store some of the excess capacity it produces. In order to make sure that in those gaps when it doesn't have any... Uh, when it doesn't have any hydrogen moving to it, we want it to be able to continue running. So we'll throw some batteries out here too. Man, this is going to be really busy out here. Busy, busy, busy. Boop, Take that to there, cut that to there, cut that to there, and to there. All this over to y'all. Okay, that should be self-sufficient now. So they'll use this to prime the pump, literally. They'll run to get this thing, all this stuff running. Um, we are going to have a bit of an issue initially with this. It's probably going to pump out some gases we don't want, which will likely damage our machine, which we'll have to fix. But once this gets cleared out so it's just hydrogen, uh, we could save the damage and just build a filter in here, but I feel like for the extra time, effort, and energy, I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna let it damage the machine, let the duplicates go fix it. <laughs> so they get that taken care of, it'll get fixed. Uh, we'll build up a pocket of hydrogen in here, that hydrogen will feed this. This will run sporadically, it'll run in like bursts of energy, which fill up the battery power and also power the, the system. When, it, when this isn't running, the battery should take over and supply the power system we need, and then uh, that should last long enough that the pump will turn back on to feed more hydrogen into here, which will give us another boost of power to recharge these and run that, and yada, yada. It should run perpetually. Got a perpetual motion machine. Just put a hamster wheel and hydrogen. Yeah, there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, plenty of food. Use clean, renewable do power. Do power. We keep running on so your stuff does too. <laughs> it's like a government advertisement. Ooh, temperatures must be sorting themselves out here because stuff is growing. It's growing! It's growing! I was doing some experimenting uh, earlier with uh, with some farming for the Drecos, and I came up with some really nice farm layouts that I really liked, or some ranch layouts that worked really well. Except that keeping them in the hydrogen is a colossal pain. <laughs> the scales don't regrow if they're not in hydrogen. So I was kind of working on some different systems I could use to keep them from getting out, so that they would stay in like a little central island kind of thing, and we'd supply all that. Figuring out how many plants we need per Dreco and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, the hydrogen is really the biggest problem with these guys. Because these uh, these mealwood don't grow in hydrogen. So if you're trying to get any Drecos that produce plastic, getting them to eat mealwood and stuff is it's a huge problem. I'm kind of thinking I might need, like, a two-stage environment for them. Like, one area that I don't care whether it has hydrogen in it or not. Uh, because we don't, And not worry about the scales. And just get them to eat mealwood and hopefully re increase their chance of producing... The smooth Dreco thingies that produce plastic. And then have a separate one where you put the guys that actually eat, like, produce plastic and have them in hydrogen so they're actually growing. But, colossal pain. Don't let it get damaged. Why not? Mop the polluted water in the electrolyzer room. Who's the wall? We got polluted water in here somewhere? Where's the where? Talking about down here? This water here? That stuff? There's none in here. Oh, there is. Ooh, look at that. Thanks for spotting that. Get that cleaned up so we don't get extra stinky stuff. It's cold enough down here, I don't think we have any germ issues. Yeah, any polluted water down here is not going to have germs. It's too cold. I actually came up with a neat way to clean uh, to clean polluted water, too, to get rid of germs. I, uh, I, I don't know how practical it is, but I was just sort of experimenting. But I created like, this really long tunnel, and I filled it with hydrogen that I, that I super cooled using a, a thermal regulator. So it was like super duper cold. And I would drip water at the top, and as it fell down the shaft, it would freeze and turn into ice and land as a solid chunk of ice at the bottom that had no germs on it. Then I used my auto sweeper to pick up the chunk of ice and move it to another area it would melt, and I'd have clean water. Well, no, actually, I would have non-germy water. It would still be polluted. Because uh, it doesn't solve the pollution issue. It just kind of got rid of the germs. I really don't... I doubt it's, it's practical, because it's just too much hassle just to get rid of the germs and not have clean water still. But it was kind of neat. I, I liked it. Okay. Time schedule. Ooh, look at this. They actually set it up so you can even see the activation times. What is this? No. 
I guess not. It's just a fake clock thing. That's that's no good. That's no good. It's not even gonna show me. Is it gonna show me? It's not gonna show me. It looks like it's doing something. Like it's supposed to show me on this little clock timer jobby where things are, but it's not telling me. Um, okay, so I want the lights to turn on at. I don't even know what part of the day they come live at. I can't click on anything here. It looks like this might be an interface that they're working on fixing. Uh, and they want it to run till like 90%. Oh, ooh. It does do something. What does this do then? Oh, look at that. Okay, so they go to sleep like, wait, wait, wait. Where's, is, is pink, is pink on or is pink off? Pink, pink's on, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is so confusing. I want it to be off in like the time that they're sleeping, but this seems backwards to me. Okay, so activation time. Ooh, there we go. I think that's what I want. <laughs> that's that feels really weird to me. Uh, we're gonna that looks backwards. I'm, I'm gonna have to test that. <laughs> I guess I, I have no idea what I'm doing with that thing. Oh boy. What material warm up oxygen besides cooling down with wolframite? Um, well, the warm up, I mean, there's heating things in this game is actually exceptionally easy. <laughs> Pink is off? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know what time they wake up. I honestly don't. Uh,. We'll try it like this. We'll, we'll see how that works. That looks ridiculous to me, but... Whatever. It'll do. It'll do big. It'll do. Green means go. I guess that makes total sense. Green means go. Red means stop. <laughs> Can I please screech like I did when you imitating the painting? It's too short for a loop for a ringtone. <laughs> no, Spiffy. I'm not pimping my voice over a ringtone. I don't even remember what I did, to be honest. Okay. Build, build, build. Go, go, guys. Go, go, gadget builder dudes. Oop, this is ready. Uh, let's throw a Wheeze Ward in there. Why can't I plant it? Oh, I've got the vent in the way. Let's We can deconstruct that. We actually don't need it anymore. I disconnected the whole system that was feeding hydrogen there anyway. Third piece of the pie is when they sleep. Oh, is it? I guess you're right. All right, so we actually want the lights to go off. Like that. I guess that makes sense. Wait, look at the, this timer's going backwards. Ticky, 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 ticky. I don't know. Whatever. I guess it's working. The lights are off. Let's see if they turn on just in time for them to get up. And... Blink! Oh, that's perfect timing, actually. <laughs> Spiffy, get out of bed, buddy! And why are they using everybody else's shower? Nelly D got out of this bed, ran upstairs and got in this shower. Okay, okay. That's... This This isn't right. <laughs> this one belongs to Spiffy. We gotta set up our door situation here. Spiffy can have... Spiffy can have all access to the door. Live Epically. Dark Gray Slice is the sleepy time on timey. Oh, thanks, Live Epically. <laughs> I think we got it set up net right now. It seems to be working. Nelly Nee just had to use Spiffy's shower. There's apparently something nicer about Spiffy's shower than Nelly Nee's shower. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to question the relationship that they may or may not have. It's fine. They're duplicates. I think they're asexual anyway. Uh, and Durgan's at the bottom. So we need Durgan door. Durgan, Durgan, Durgan. Okay, so now each duplicate that owns their little bedroom is... Oh, what did I do? I, I trapped Kev in there. <laughs> Sorry, Kev. <laughs> Okay, now we can close the door. Put that on auto. And Magnus is stuck in here too. What have you guys been up to? And now Durgan's in. Okay, Durgan's actually in the great shower, so that's good. Look at that cool hat she's got. That's cool. You want to use everyone's shower? It's like it's like musical showers. <laughs> she literally got up out of your own bed, went all the way upstairs to use the one upstairs when there was one like ten feet away. That strikes me weird. Okay, let's um, set the direction of these, too. I never did that. No point washing your hands before you go pee. 
They're doing good. I like how I like how this colony is turning out. 194 cycles. So we haven't really run a colony this long in a long time. Mostly because uh, the new updates and stuff kept coming out. I was only playing once a week. So we weren't really getting a chance to build a huge colony and stuff. So it's kind of kind of nice to actually dig in a little deeper. Build some some more different and interesting things. I'm trying to get things things flowing well. Change places, yeah. Why are the sinks both directions? Uh, they just default to that when you build them and I hadn't set it. Other sinks too. Oh yeah, this one too. Yeah, you're right. They just they just start off that way, and I just never uh, I never got around to fixing it. Not that it really matters too much. They don't often have germs when they're passing in there anyway, so it's fine. And with that sink being what it is, it's kind of it's got like its own closed loop, so it's not like they're wasting water. It just cycles it back through. Remember that one time Spiffy Pictures got bought in LED dupe insurance. <laughs> You should get puffs. They're cute. I should make a puff farm. We had a puff at one point, and he polluted our colony. Ooh, look at We have, like, all sage hatches now. Oh, except for one. We're going to call this one Bob. This will be Bob the regular hatch. And he's, like, he's like the stra estranged tw twin brother thing of these guys. How do you get this? I have to look up how you get the smooth hatches. Because it doesn't seem to be that there's any way to get them with these guys. You can't get up with the sage hatch. They apparently only produce sages. Oh, no, they'll also do regular hatchings. That's interesting. This guy here will only do stone and sage and regular ones. He's got 69% chance of laying the sage hatching egg because he's been eating dirt. Who knew? Apparently dirt's dirt's good. Does the body good. Ooh, our bomb lilies are growing nicely up here, too. I wasn't even paying attention to those, but we got some nice bomb lily growing there. How much would Spiffy have to pay to get you Bob as a pet? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't have... Oh my god. It's not even like a pricing structure around here. That would be funny. It's Bob. Bob the Hatch. Just hanging out in his little space up there. He'd get upset down here though, I think. They get unhappy. Like this guy here, he's he's already expecting. But he's happy because he's being groomed. If he's not being groomed, then he's not going to be very happy. So I feel like that would be bad. What is this? Oh, Sage Ashley. Just tucked away in the corner. This, the sage ones are good because they produce, for however much they eat, they produce the same amount of coal, which is kind of a nice thing. Um, I should try to get them all in this in the room here. I don't remember why I opened that door. I needed space, I think it was. Fine. Oh, I closed one in the door. Oh, no, he just, they don't like being in between the doors. Okay, let's wrangle this guy. Let's wrangle this guy. Wrangle this one. Wait, that's not... Hello? This one doesn't exist. Oh, there he is. Okay. Uh, make sure this is set for hage ha sage hatchlings. Sage hatch. Sage hatchling. I think it's going to make them wild again when we bring them in there, but that's okay, because I just kind of want them in this little confined area. I don't want them running free. Free as the wind blows. Oh, there's another, another little hatch out here. That one's not Bob. That's Brian. We have Bob and Brian. <laughs> How do I get that much food? Oh man, I had a ridiculous amount of food production going. So I had um, I had all this growing for mealwood. I had all this growing for uh, bristle blossoms. Plus we started some more mealwood down here. We've got mushrooms growing at the bottom down here. And I had a limited number of duplicates. So copy settings. No, oh, come on. Copy settings. There we go. Um, so I was basically just producing like tons of food and not really eating at all. We've only recently added in a couple more duplicates. We had like eight for the longest time. There's something in the door. Is there? Opens the door. Oh, there was. Get him. Hang on that guy. Uh, let's close this door. Put that one on auto. Come on. Somebody do that before somebody else gets stuck. Okay, we don't need to wrangle that guy anymore. Instead, we're going to need to wrangle this guy. Cause oh, come on, guys. <laughs> You're killing me. Darn little hatches. I should put the door up here so they can't get into it. That would be the smart move to do, but I'm not very smart. All right, wrangle these guys. I'm going to have a whole bunch of wild sage hatches because I've had to wrangle these things to get them back into the room. I should probably just leave them alone. Leave them be. Let my people go. Leave the doors open and let them roam free. You think so? All right. We'll give them the freedom. 
It's just that they end up laying eggs in weird places. Just open it. Open it. It's still considered it. It still considers them like tamed and part of the ranch because they they were dropped in here. They go wander anywhere they want to go, and they they're technically tamed. Uh, they just got to be close enough to groom them so they stay happy. That's all. How do I manage power in the late game? You usually run out of coal, and then you're screwed. Well, there's a few different things. I mean, you can switch over to a different power system. Uh, in this instance, I haven't bothered because uh, I have two coal generators running up here. Um, and I still have tons of coal in the purple areas. So, I mean, I'm only on, like, cycle 195. We haven't hit, haven't hit cycle 200. Oh, stop running on that thing. We're not ready for that. No, not disable disinfect. Uh, disable building. There we go. So anyway, uh, I have lots of coal that I can dig out. So you have a couple of options. You can switch to a different power supply. So you could go with natural gas, for example. If you can find a natural gas geyser, they produce a pretty decent amount of power. It's not infinite anymore the way it used to be, because now they have an eruption cycle. So you're going to run out at some point. However, we do have that as an option. Uh, if you can produce steam in sufficient quantities, for example, by leveraging a volcano, then you can uh, use the steam power generator. It produces crazy amounts of power, but it's very difficult to manage because you have to produce a lot of steam and keep it very hot in order for it to be of any use. Uh, so that's an option, of course. Uh, again, not necessarily the easiest one to work with, but it's, it's an option you can use. Uh, outside of that, if you get a sufficient number of hatches going in a hatch farm, They'll eat other products and turn it into coal for you. So, like, these uh, these sage hatches uh, have a one-to-one -one conversion ratio. For every kilogram of stuff they eat, they'll produce a kilogram of coal. And then you can gather coal up and send it down to your generators and stuff. So, you have a couple of options. Obviously, it's not... Uh, you know, and barring that, if you have enough duplicates, you could also use treadmill power. Insufficient oxygen production. Yeah, it, it'll say that because we're consuming... We're technically consuming more oxygen than what we're producing. Um, so you can see it is gradually shifting over. But we don't, we're not in anywhere in any risk of, of suffocation at this point. Uh, I really should try to scrub some more CO2 out of here, though. We're getting a lot of it built up in here again. Tons and tons and tons. Uh, let's turn this back on. It's not going to last for very long. Enable that. We'll enable this. What's our water temp down here? 34 degrees, 33. Ah, those ice blocks didn't do a lot to cool it. It helped a little bit. Came down like a degree or two. Um, but nothing really great. Try again. Just keep converting it into water. Hatches can jump two tiles high. You can put the door at the top of the ladder. So, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Is I can put the door up here. Uh, wherever it is. Up here. That's okay. I'm not really worried about it too much. If we start using the incubator again, then it will. But the reality is the eggs incubate even without being in the incubator. So it's almost not worth the power. I think the only thing the incubator does is it speeds up the process. Over oh, temperature 140. Energy. Yeah, it consumes 960 watts of power. No, that's that's the grid in general, I think. Incubator, 240 watts. So I guess it's, it's not that it's not that huge amount, but it's, it's kind of a waste. Particularly since you can only have so many of these things in one room before they get they get crowded and they get unhappy. I think it's like seven you can have in a room before they get unhappy. Bob will always be Bob. Bob the Hatch Bob. You love professor mode, you learn so much. <laughs> Sorry, I, I apologize if I'm lecturing. <laughs> yeah, that one's fine. Throw a container in the water for ice. Set it to low capacity with a fancy slider. Oh, we have this one down here. We can do... Uh, da, da, da. Where's my liquefiable option? There it is. Liquefiable. Put this on ice. With snow in here, too, actually. Might help a little bit. Did you ever go pee in the water like you paid? Yes, she did, actually. <laughs> Not on purpose, but it happened. LED peed in the water. Just wait till the dupes vomit each other. Mmm, vomit. <laughs> Tasty. Germs are looking good. No germs. No germs. Ooh, wait a minute. We have a little bit of slime lung germ in the colony. Some fertilizer or something in there. That's okay, though. It's not spreading because it's all oxygenated in there, so it doesn't have a chance to spread. Ooh, look. We're almost done here. Uh, this is very, very nearly finished. We just need to build the outside part here for the power system. Uh, somehow we got water in here. It must have been some melting junk. 
That's no good. We want to mop that up. Get rid of that. Let's sweep this up because we don't want any any random variables in here for temperature wise. Let's get all that clean, clean, clean. No, you're sincere. You love professor mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to do some more, some more tutorials. Uh, 34 degrees. 32 degrees. If they finish building this, I want to see how much the temperature shifts. It's like 33, 34 right now. And it's obviously warmer over here where it's dripping at like 37. <laughs> 32. Uh, it drops like one degree. Not a huge difference. I'm not even sure if they can reach that storage compactor anymore. I have to say, I, I think one of my favorite additions to this game that they put in, aside from all the cool other stuff, are these cool little exosuits. <laughs> They're not always super practical because they're kind of a nuisance a bit to set up, but they're just so cute. They're like awesome. That's got to be one of my favorite things. Remember that one time when somebody said we should have an Oni sandbox event slash party? That was a great idea. We could all wear pajamas. <laughs> I'm wearing my pajamas right now. How are you supposed to build that power grid? You have it blocked. What power grid? What you talking about, Willis? Ah, drat. Yep, that, that will present minor problems. Hey, listen, I said I have a vague idea of what I'm doing, not that I'm actually attentive. Jeez. Expectations. Half done with the stream. Uh, Tell us becoming clickbait. It's not clickbait. It's not clickbait till we're done and there's no, uh, there's no volcano. I can do it in the last two minutes and it wouldn't be clickbait. It would still be factually accurate. With my luck, we'll uncover it. It'll be all, it'll be dormant. It'll be like actually, I don't even need the ladder. Then they can jump that. The trouble is, if I don't get this oxygen set up, somebody's gonna suffocate on us. Eventually, eh, not too quickly. Let's get them started on this. I guess we can have them digging this out while they're busy building over there. Okay, um, I probably should try to give some consideration to making this. Uh, relatively not deathish. So we're going to throw some abyssalite insulation in here. And try to maintain some degree of... Some degree of insulation to keep this stuff from just turning into like a horrible fiasco. Because if I, if I let loose 2200 degrees in short distance from my colony, we'll like boil the water up there. It'll be great. <laughs> that might actually be funny. Uh, let's dig all this. Let's dig all this. How about let's dig all this. Give us lots of space, I guess. Take it all. Take it all. We're slashing prices. I can see the top of the volcano. It's not erupting. It's dormant. So I guess we're not gonna we're not gonna get any crazy fireworks out of that thing. But it'll be nice to cut into it and find out what the deal is. We need to analyze it. And find out what's up with it. Protest the idea of not washing hands before and after using the facilities. You would like two way sinks, please. Oh, Nelly, me. Okay, where's Nelly's room? You have your own private bathroom anyway. So this is Nelly's room. This sink is going to be a two way sink. <laughs> Please don't make me go from one stream of hypothermia to catching fire. Hey, it will cure your hypothermia problem. It won't be a problem. You'll it'll be completely fixed. You'll look like Deadpool. That's right. <laughs> a Deadpool. <laughs> oh yes. You don't want slime. <laughs> don't want slime anything on any of your dupes' particular bits. I'm not sure they have any particular bits. I mean, they're kind of androgynous, but all right. <laughs> Phosphorite will be the near the biggest problem near the 800 degree volcano excrement. 800 degree? Oh no, my friend! It's not 800. It's 2200. Bam! 2226.9 degrees Celsius. That's warm. It's f uh, right now it's only like it's only like 31 degrees right here because it hasn't erupted yet. But it's gonna get hot, 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 hot. This is gonna be a problem right here. This manual airlock, the door might melt. <laughs> I'm not sure how we're going to deal with that exactly. Uh, it might actually, heat-wise, it might make sense to have like a vertical door. There it is. It's uncovered. Uh, Durgan's got a job to do now. She's got to come here and analyze this thing. We've had this thing queued up for analysis forever. And, of course, she hasn't done it yet because she's slacking. Shamamo. 
Uh, while this is cold, I should probably do what I can. There's Durgan hard at work. We'll, try, we'll do what we can to try to get this thing analyzed and, and dug out and everything while it's cold. We might have actually lucked out by it being dormant, because if it was hot, um, everyone would be getting a significant hot foot right now. Let's lay a tile here. Uh, we won't be able to go underneath it, but that's okay, because there's neutronium here, so that's fine. We'll just take care of all this. Insulate all this. We're going to need actual double thick insulation to keep the heat in here, because that is a ridiculously hot volcano. This one's like a... Like a oh, it doesn't say what it is. A large volcano. So there's different sizes of these things, too. I mean, they all look the same, but I think they have different output. Do I want to get those taste memorials ready now? Or <laughs> It's not erupting, though. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. You're right. How can I ever doubt it? You, not a tenured scientist. See, she is researching. Dun dun da. They build up the skill. Once they have the skill, you can swap them to something else. It's very handy. What'd you miss? Uh, we've been working on an oxygen room over here in the cold biome uh, to supply oxygen to the fancy luxury apartments that we've built up here. And we haven't finished the bottom half of Durgans yet, but we'll get to it. Uh, and now we've just uncovered the copper volcano, which is dormant at the moment and is saving us from a horrible scalding death. Um, so that's a good thing, too, I figure, for the most part. Uh, let's try and do some fancy insulation work here, though. I'm going to... I'm going to try and create, like, a little well over here that the, the stuff can flow into, and then we can heat a hot plate. And we're going to use this... Oh, I need... I'm going to need refined metal. I've got refined copper. Let's make some refined iron. Or even refined gold might be good. Do I have much gold amalgam? What have I got here? 2,800 kilograms of gold amalgam? We can assort... We can spare some... We can spare some of that. We'll make some gold plating down there. I'm going to make a little gold hot plate in here. So hopefully when this thing erupts, we can get some of the liquid copper to kind of flow over this space, uh, superheat our little heating plate, which we can then drip our polluted water on, and we'll create like a steam system over here. But I want to be able to do this when it's not crazy warm. I need ladders over the gap to finish the O2 room. What? No, it's fine. They can get to it. They, they hop down here, and then they run up here. They've already started to build some of the ladder. Uh, they just have reprioritized their work. They've decided it was much cooler to go after the volcano, so they went over here instead of doing what I told them to do first. Crazy duplicates. Am I going to change the door to the faster opening one since dupes will probably uh, retrieve the hot copper? Uh, I mean, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, we could swap it out, I guess. There's no harm, no foul. We'll get rid of that. Uh, over here, we're going to need some more of this fancy insulated junk. Bloop. I don't know how big to make this space. I'm going to make like a plate that's like this large. And I don't know whether that's going to suffice or not, but we'll find out. Um, it's going to be really hot too, so we'll go ahead and just insulate this whole thing. Take all this out. You know what? Actually, I'll cancel this one. Bloop. They could use this as a walking place to finish everything up here, and then when they're done that, I'll dig that out. And then right across here is where we'll put that hot plate. Eventually, I'll put a door in here or something so that we can pump water in and allow for a, a gap that lets steam out that we can cool and condense into a different space. It's kind of a lot of work, actually, for the little bit of germy water we have, because this, this actually isn't that much. <laughs> but it'll be fun to play with. Oh, look, analysis is done on the computer. So we have analysis complete. The large volcano, the period of gorilla, blah, 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 blah. Erupts uh, for 28 seconds every 925 seconds. That's not really much of an eruption. Uh, active period is 95.4 cycles every 210.9 cycles. Its next activity is in 12.3 cycles. So when this gets to day, well, cycle 211. Well, 212, I guess. When it gets to cycle 212... It's going to erupt, and we'll have molten copper. So we got to get all this stuff done inside of 12 cycles, which really shouldn't be too hard, because it's 12 cycles. I mean, that's a fair amount of time. Put a tile left of the volcano so only your copper will flow right only. Uh, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Bloop. Like so. I wonder if the ladders in here will catch fire and stuff. 
<laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, look, they're burning. They don't have a fire mechanic in the game, but that would be neat. Uh, let's build up here, and we'll dig all this stuff out, too. Because we're going to need to get in here anyway. Uh, and this will allow me to double up on the insulation in here, too. Cycle 212 hype. 12 cycles till death. It's like the, the countdown to cryptic explosion. Uh, we should probably uh, set some doors in here. You know, let's do a, let's do a triple airlock door here. That way we can maybe we'll set it up so that the one door lock in the middle can be a vacuum one, so we can throw a switch on it, kind of thing. If we do, uh, what's gonna do uh, with the things and uh, signal switch and uh, like that? Whoop, whoop. No, they gotta build it first, I guess. So we'll put a little signal switch there anyway, so we can turn it on and off. We, that way we can open and close this middle door. Uh, when it closes, it'll negate any gases that are in there. It'll just eliminate them. And then when we open it, it'll have a vacuum in that gap. And that'll stop heat from transferring through the doors. Happy cycle 200. Thanks, Madison. Want to drop the bad water straight on the volcano? Uh, only because then I gotta deal with it. And then I can't collect the dirt. I'd have to send my duplicates into like the 2200 degree space in order to collect up the dirt, which I feel like might, might present some challenges for them. So I'm going to try and use a controlled environment instead if I can. This whole thing might be silly. I haven't really played around with the volcanoes at all yet. And why aren't they done over here? Come on, you guys. Come on. I know the volcano's cool, but like seriously, get this work done too. Dirty slackers. Guess you'll probably die of hypothermia. No, probably not anymore. Because uh, now, in order to get out to the cold biome, they have to wear the uh, they have to wear the exosuits. No other duplicates can go out there. So if you're in this space, you'll be protected. You'll have an exosuit. No more hypothermia. No more germiness. No more scalding unless we hang out in 2200 degree temps. Ooh, there's this geyser over here. We haven't uncovered either. I want to find a natural gas geyser. I feel like we've been gypped. We haven't gotten one yet. Hope we build the. Well, out of a material with high melting point? No, actually, I don't really care. Uh, these ladders here were only built uh, as scaffolding in order to uh, in order to build the insulation stuff. They can actually all be torn down. I kind of want to see them melt. <laughs> I've got more diggers than builders. I do. Uh, it could be. Well, I mean, I have two people specifically aligned with building, but that doesn't mean other people won't do it. Run radiant pipes along the volcano to transfer the heat effectively. Uh, yeah, the tricky part. Oh, somebody always strands themselves. Always, it's inevitable. Every time. Every time. Just throw a little ladder there. They they're building the batteries before they built the floor. Like, that makes no sense to me. Uh, yeah, you could go rescue your friend. He's right up here. It's Andrew too. <laughs> So, Andrew, you're not getting hypothermia, but you are getting stranded, and it looks like you're hungry because you're drooling. Oh, yeah, you're hungry. Hungry in your spacesuit. No peeing in your spacesuit, by the way. That would be... That'd be bad. Throwing up in the spacesuit is, is, is equally bad. You get It turns into, like, a fish tank on your head. No, not really. It actually passes through, but it would be really funny if it filled up the tank. <laughs> the guy, poor little dupe starts drowning or something. Dupe is trapped. Sleeping in the cold. At least he's got an exosuit this time. He's not going to get hypothermia. Just die of starvation. It'll be fine. It's good. It's fine. Should bring it to deep to try to trap in the volcano room right before it goes active. Oh, Nelly Knee, you're so cruel. I don't want to liquefy one of my duplicates. No fall damage? Oh, that's true. I could just dig it out. You are very correct. We could have done that. That's fine. You climb down. The thing is that he'll stop. Oftentimes, when you tell them to dig, though, they'll like jump up to the next level. Started a new map that had a cool steam vent right outside of the starting zone. The closest cold biome had a slush geyser and a nullifier. Easiest start ever. You know, I've never actually used the nullifier. Again, largely because I don't tend to play long cycle colonies. I'm always starting new ones all the time. I'm like, I'm chronic. Probably not in a good way. Can't help myself. Just always starting new colonies. Uh, let's throw a ladder down here, too. Uh, a derpy ladder. Let's throw a derpy ladder. Hooray! Uh, we'll insulate all this on the outside, too. 
Bloop. Bloop. Oh, wait, I can't do this one. Let them, let them finish the floor first. Volunteer to be sacrificed to the volcano gods. Oh, Kitsune Lord. That's evil. Liquify the dupe. I don't even know what happens. Like, it'd be funny if they caught fire, but I, I suspect they don't. What's the nullifier? The nullifier is this device that you can find. It's like a like a ruin. I don't I can't. There's not one in my cold biome, but they usually they're in the cold biome specifically. And you pump hydrogen into it and it creates crazy amounts of cold. So you can, oh, look, we ran out of polluted water over here. Uh, how's our CO2? That's a fair amount of fair amount of CO2, I'd say. I'd say. All right. Clearly, we should probably do something CO2 related. I hate that I'm running out of water for this setup. Well, okay, probably the easiest solution to our water issue is to just build a ladder straight up to here. If we build up there, all the water that's up here will drain out, and we'll get another egg. A little Paku egg. Temperatures in here, not fantastic, but not awful. Ooh, we got chlorine in here, though. That's going to stifle some growth. I wish there was an easier way to get rid of chlorine. I mean, you can pump it out, filter it, and send it somewhere else, and then send the remaining gases back in, but it's just kind of a nuisance. Bought this game just a few days ago because you liked watching the stream so much. That's awesome, Wander Trico. It's a great game. I love it. I spend so much time on it. It's just... Silly amounts of time, to be honest with you, but there's just something I find like immensely satisfying about getting to be a little bit creative in the game because you can make you know, there's there's not one way to play it, right? Like you can not only are you getting a dynamically generated map, so it's constantly different, but you can build your colony layout any way you want. Like this is probably one of the sloppiest looking colonies I've seen ever. <laughs> I see a lot of pe other people's colonies and they're all like organized like this, like super structured and everything. This is just this is a madhouse right in here. As our colony gets older and older, I might want to try to enforce a little bit more... What have we got chlorine in here for? Oh, it's coming from up top. Um, I might want to try to enforce a little bit of order as things go on. We have two... What? What? We have two empty beds. We need duplicates. Enable building. I forgot we had relocated two people from here over to here. So we've actually got two empty beds available that we could put people in. Uh, Aaron actually is stuck on this cot. Maybe we'll give Aaron a better cot. We'll, we'll promote him. Aaron, you can have one that's actually in a proper room now. How about that? There you go. You can have that cot. Then we have two cots that we can actually put duplicates in. What if you put a dupe in the cooling sweater if they will die next to a volcano? You should try that. Oh, I'm quite certain they will. At 2200 degrees, there's nothing surviving that. <laughs> Get a dupe named Joe. Joe versus the volcano. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that'd be great. Uh, I kind of want to do that now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know that I should. Okay. Well, okay, the next duplicate that comes in is going to be named Joe. So I'm sorry everyone in the chat that's kind of been hoping to get in here, but I'm, we're, we need a duplicate named Joe. He's going to be our sacrificial volcano guy. <laughs> Look, he'll go hang out down here. The trouble is we'll have to get him down there without a suit on because I don't want to waste the suit. I have to figure that out. We'll put a door that only Joe can get through. So it'll be like Joe's private door to go face the volcano. So when we march him down there, when we get him inside, we'll set up this door so he can't come back out. And we'll just be super cruel and evil. It's going to be really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be so evil. I feel, I feel bad. I haven't even done it yet. <laughs> but he too, so who's the second? Uh, we'll just bring in someone else from the chat. That's what I normally do. Joe versus the volcano. Another super chat. Thank you for the super chat, Aaron, and uh, and live epically. Both of those are much appreciated. I appreciate the support. And we're I guess we're definitely gonna have to go with Joe versus the volcano since you guys are clearly expressing an interest. Ooh, look, this is all done. Huzzah! Okay. Uh, insulated water's fine. Let's enable this. We got some nasty gases in here. Oh, you know what? This isn't done. What am I thinking? Duh. I built the whole room and it doesn't pump anywhere. <laughs> we can produce oxygen aplenty. It don't go nowhere, but we got it. We got it. Uh, where do we want? I guess I can just send this straight up the ladders, I guess. Probably the easiest way. 
This way our duplicate's gonna reach it. Oh gosh, I hate sloppy piping. Okay, um, we'll pump the oxygen up to the middle-ish range. Maybe like right here. We'll let it spread out from there. That way we got to force the CO2 downwards. Okay, once they finish building all that, our oxygen room will be ready to run. Uh, hopefully we can get a good, decent prime going. Build up some power in this and let the whole thing run all on its own. Tips on cooling your base. Your base is hot. Too hot. Well, this is one way. Build an oxygen production room in a cold biome so that when you're pumping the air out, it'll be at a lower temperature. You kind of want to strike a funny balance, though. Like, you want it to be, like, right around that, you know, 20 to 25 degree mark so your duplicates are comfortable. Another way is, that I'd use this is uh, I built a room up here, the same oxygen setup. Uh, this one is not in a cold biome because I hadn't uncovered it yet. But it produces oxygen that comes out of here at, uh, that's the water pipe, gas pipe, 41.6 degrees Celsius, the oxygen coming out, which is obviously too hot. Goes into this little room, and I have radiant gas piping that snakes back and forth with a room full of wheezworts. So the, the gas that comes out on the other side is a balmy 19.7 degrees Celsius, and that pumps down here to fill up our colony. So our temperature over here is actually pretty temperate. Uh, this thing needs to go. Should really should uproot that. Um, temperature's really nice over here. Uh, obviously, things are a little warmer down here. I, I keep forgetting to insulate this side. I really need to get that done. Sorry, I'm going to do that right now because I have a memory like a sieve. That's a drink, everyone, if you were playing that game. Uh, so we're going to do some insulated tile over here to try to isolate all of this. How did it not tell me that that... I'm surprised I didn't say that toilet was... Actually, it's not even a finished room, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, so we'll get that all sealed off. So anyway, um, step one number one is, is isolate your colony. Block it from the heat sources outside if you can. So you're going to use insulation for that. Or you can use, like, vacuum spaces and that kind of stuff. But it's much harder to set up a large vacuum around your colony. Uh, secondly, try to reduce the number of machines that are in areas that are sensitive that you want to try to maintain good temperatures in. So everything from, like, your research stations, your oxygen production systems, even when you're using the, uh, the algae deoxidizer, it's going to produce a fair amount of heat. And the air that comes out of it is also going to be hot. So that's what happened with our colony. It heated up over time by using algae deoxidizers. Those are gone now. We shut them off. And we replaced it with this cooled air system. So we have that coming in. Uh, alternatively, you can try to use radiant cooling by pumping colder, colder gases or liquids through pipes that will allow for heat transfer and kind of cool the space. Um, that sort of works, but it's you have to have a huge system in order to manage that. So that's not really that terribly efficient. You can also use wheeze warts around your colony to try to cool it. The one I find the most effective, though, is really cooling the air as you're sending it in. Uh, as you can see, it worked really well in this general area. Uh, again, over here, not so much, but we have heat coming in from these side areas that I need to block off. Um, this area over here, we'll see, it will get cooled down as the air comes in from this uh, system down here, too, because this will be pretty cool. Uh, Temperature-wise, not just in, you know, not just in awesome-wise. Uh, let's get this fixed. Oh, I forgot to build my little sensor in here. Du -du -du -du. Atmo sensor, I want that right here. It's a good thing we made those doors. <laughs> Just if I hadn't, it would have been a really, really big problem. I missed the deoxidizer, did I? Oh, yeah, but this one's not running. It's turned off. It's fine. I, I have that one switched off. It hasn't run in a very, very long time, actually. I could I could just deconstruct it, but eh, I'm lazy. So I'll just leave it there. Yeah, so there's, I mean, heat heat becomes a problem in general in the colony. The longer you, the longer you play, the more stuff you have going on, the warmer it's going to get. Unless you manage to isolate it and maintain good temperatures that way. Nine cycles to eruption. Dun, dun, dun. Vent the first bit of gas produced so you don't get better. Uh, yeah, we could do that too, I guess. That would work. I was content just to break it, but you're right. We could just throw a vent on here. Uh, deconstruct. Ba, ba, ba. There's hydrogen in there, but there's also oxygen, so obviously that's not great. Why didn't that build? I can't build it there. Said what? Can't build that. What is going on there? There we go. Now we got it. I wonder why I had to stick it up so high. That's weird. 
All right, I guess the little, uh, oh, I guess because the part goes up and down, maybe it blocks up a larger space than it's showing right now. Uh, so obviously I need to fix this because I broke it because I'm a genius. SMRT. How's our gas in here? It's mostly oxygen right now. So what we want this to do really is to run for a while, this pump not to go, to build up hydrogen here, and then we'll run the pump. It'll take a surge of oxygen out, and it'll fill up this whole space with hydrogen, and then you'll have the permanent separation. Uh, and we'll use this atmos sensor to control how often this turns on, so we never have to worry about it. Why not use a gas filter? Uh, it only because the gas filter consumes more power. So in this system, uh, this produce, this draws 240, this draws 120, this draws 240. So that's already uh, 480. Brain no works five six. That's 600 watts of power we're drawing there already. You throw in another another generator or sorry another filter, and you're adding in another layer of extra power consumption. Eh, it's just not worth it. If you get this space built, you can do it without using the power at all. <clears throat> My exosuit supplies out. Ruh row. <laughs> all right, that's uh, yeah. I forgot we were still sucking up the algae there. I feel like that was a small oversight. Thanks for spotting that. Uh, where? Where? Hold on, I got a cough. Pardon me. Okay, so we uh, we're gonna need to get uh, some algae. We're not using lots of algae because it's just basically that, that little room. I guess the easiest one to get in terms of a large pocket of it will be up there. Uh, but we can dig this out. Get a small shot of it right there. And then otherwise, we'll have to dig our way. Well, you know what? I want to go over here to get this thing anyway. So I might as well just, let's just dig a whole dig a whole tunnel thing over here. Uh, like that. Dig this out. There's some algae too, actually. Do, 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 do. What am I doing? I am so smart. SMRT. Okay, let's just uh, extend the ladder up here instead, like a quasi-intelligent person might. Not to suggest that I'm quasi-intelligent. I wouldn't go that far. Uh, but we'll get all this here. Then we'll dig into here. We'll get all this here. Get some metal along the way, too. Why not? All right. That'll give us a good amount of, high, of uh, algae. Almost on here. Sensors attached. Okay, so we only want this to turn on if it's above, say, 750. That'll turn that off. That'll allow some gas buildup. Why did that turn on? There's no way that was over 750. Now it's getting little surges of oxygen in there because we have this one down here not running. All right, it's going to take a moment. This bottom one's not pumping the oxygen out, so it's kind of getting backed up. And there's actually polluted oxygen in here. Okay, doke. We're going to need a filter anyway until that polluted oxygen is gone. I don't want to fill this with polluted oxygen again. As much as I don't like to use the filter, because it wastes power, polluted oxygen I can't do anything about. So let's deconstruct that. We'll throw a little segment in here. Take care of that. Wrench off your no 2 line with a gas valve to feed your suits. Oh, yeah, we could do that too. I mean, it's right there. That would work great. Good point. Excellent thunk and so excellent thinking. Where's our gas overlay? Look at you, SMRT. Let's break all this. Uh, yeah, break all of it. Let's break it all down. Break it all down. Save the algae altogether. We're coming close to it, so might as well, right? That's a really good idea. Excellent thinking, Kyle Dawson. Quasi-intelligent. Seemingly, apparently, but not really. That's right. Can you use the gaseous element sensor? Uh, you could, yes. But even the... So, if you look at... Um, where's the gas filter? Da, da, da. Gas filter consumes 120 watts of power. If we use the... Is it like a valve kind of thing? We can use the gas shutoff and use a separate pipe for that. This consumes only 10 watts of power. So yeah, yeah, you could do that. Personally, I find it kind of a nuisance to set it up. So I'm not going to bother. But you could do that. But for the gas element sensor, the Atmos sensor has led to many broken gens because it doesn't care about O2. Huh. 
Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna use this to filter out specific polluted oxygen. Once we have this room, oh man, of course it had to start running. Why did you guys know? It's gonna pump all the polluted oxygen into my. <sighs> well, all right. That pretty much negates the benefit of doing this. Bop. <laughs> it's, it's all clean oxygen now. At least the polluted oxygen isn't gonna have germs in it. Maybe we can just uh, we'll just throw a little deodorizer in here. After all that work to get all the polluted oxygen out of here in the first place, we're going to pump some back in, because MSMRT. I think whatever dupes is narcoleptic. One of them just fell asleep in the middle of the way there. It's entirely possible, yeah. I, I generally don't avoid the, nucle the narcoleptics, but... The real story of Joe vs. Volcano was to live your life to the fullest before you can't anymore. You could say his point was to live epically. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. Pretty much. <laughs> It's that kind of thing that gets you fed first when food is low or sent off to do something really dangerous. Like Joe versus the volcano. <laughs> Alright, how's this doing now? Show me the gases. Ooh, we still got oxygen trapped up there. I don't like that very much. Uh, let us crank this if it's above like 1500. Let's get this like really... Ooh, this is not working over here. Barely breathable oxygen in here. This is not producing a consistent flow of oxygen right now. Probably because this is too high. It's hitting max pressure, I think. So we get that pumped out of there. Oh, they broke the... I told them to fix the generator. They broke the whole thing down. They're like, forget this thing. I don't need it. Get it out of here. Run duplicates. Do your job. Do your job. <laughs> Did you all hear that nefarious laughter? I've been practicing for my Mackie villain. Gotta be evil. Oh, I see what's going on here. We got max pressure out here. It's not actually even venting it out very well. So we got a multi multitude of problems in this little oxygen chamber. I can't believe that this is getting so it's just a little oxygen supply. But I think I keep hitting max pressure on this. I do. That's what the problem is. Exact mundo. Oh, come on, guys. Just, you're almost, you're almost done. Like, right there. Like, right there. Didn't check my temperature out of this thing. I really should. Uh, let's see. Insulated liquid pipe. Gas pipe. 30 degrees. It's still 30, really. That's something. What's the temperature here? 2.2 degrees. Wow. It's getting into the negatives. Then it clumps up through here, this warm space. It picks up a lot of heat through here. 28 degrees. Holy cow. Apparently, I need to use a little insulation. <laughs> All the way up to here, and it's coming out at a balmy 31 degrees. Okay, so it's coming up. It's much too warm up there. We need to swap out some of this piping for insulated pipe. Uh, let's... What's the temperature here? 3 degrees. Okay. Let's insulate this segment of pipe, like, right here. I don't mind it picking up a little bit of warmth to kind of temper the cold, because... But when it's coming out like 33 degrees, it's too much. So if I can get just a little bit of heat here, a little bit of heat here, it might actually balance it out nicely. Got the oxygen out and I'm going for removing the vent. I know, but they broke down the whole generator. I thought they were going to fix it, but they broke it. They are like, ah, get it out of here! Get that out of here! For more efficiency, put a pressure gauge in the lower pumps for at least 400 grams. It can pull 500 grams, so I usually set it at 600. Uh, yeah, not, I'm not super worried about it right now. We're actually going to have... We'll be producing excess power out of this anyway. It's not connected to any other grid, so I'm, it's largely going to waste. Any any efficiency savings we're getting is largely going to waste. Ooh! Uh, I heard the generator, or the uh, duplicate printer thing, Maggie. Let's take a one. 205. Okay, we're going to bring in Joe. All right, let's. See. We need Joe to be like. Uh, I was hoping there'd be like a, a duplicate that was a real train wreck. That would have been the perfect one to be a Joe. Instead, we got a yokel, a small bladder, or a narcoleptic. Uh, well, I guess we'll go with uh, ugly crier. I want. I feel like if the stress goes up really high, oh, it's an Ari too. That's that's a sign. We've got to go with this one. This is gonna be Joe. <laughs> Ari, you're becoming a Joe. You're an ugly crier. So hopefully, when he like gets all super heated in there, he'll cry. 
cool off some of the metal for us. Is there a is there a job title in here somewhere that says something like like uh, sacrificial lamb? Because I I don't I don't think there is. <laughs> Ooh, these guys are leveled up. Uh, let's make a fancy new architects here. Aaron, you can bump up here too. There we go. You guys can get more professionalized. Get your all your professionication going. Can you upload Joe vs. the Volcano as its own separate video? <laughs> uh, it's not going to be that spectacular, I don't think. I feel like it's just going to be like a really short kind of thing of a jig. What the? How did they build that one little spot of insulated tile, but none of the rest of it? I, I, I largely don't understand how duplicates think. <laughs> Unless that vent sits at max pressure, you'll lose half your hydrogen into that vent. Not your gen. Uh, yeah, well, this is set at 750. It's not that big a deal. Bop, bop. Let's deconstruct this. Boop. It was only there temporarily. No, don't do that. Cancel. Jeez, I just built that thing. Let's, uh, let's try and set this in a high priority, too. I want to get this oxygen thing done. I want to be done with this. Done like dinner. Get her done! Get her done! Look at this. We got good growth going in here, finally. Sort of. What's going on here? No harvest pending. Oh, right. We turned off all the harvest in there, so the uh, little Drekos can eat it all. So I figured out what the, what the right ratio is for these plants, too. It's basically a 2 to 1 ratio. So I could probably fit more Drekos in there, too. If we can capture some. Where are the Drekos? They're all hiding. Oh, there's one. There's one. Let's get a Drekko here. Ooh, another one. Get a couple Drekos in there. We have enough in here, so we got lots of plants. They can, these, guys can, these guys are living large here right now. How are they doing? Drekko starving. Time till death. Six cycles. What? Look at all this meal ice. Why aren't you eating it? Tell me you're gonna eat. The plants are right there. Like, just eat it. Just eat. Eat the. Just eat. Oh. I wonder. I wonder if turning off the harvest in here stops the Drekos from eating. They're both starving. And the plants are right here. There's got to be something up with that. Enable harvest. Why aren't they eating? I'm super confused why those guys aren't eating. <sighs> killing me. You're killing me. Obviously, the auto harvest thing was not the issue. So let's... let's Disable that again, so let the plants grow. They're, they can reach it. I don't understand. I don't understand. The atmosphere's don't have oxygen. Oh, okay. Let's fix that. Let's fix it. Uh, gas pipe. Connect this in here. There we go. Did they fix this stuff down here yet? Yeah, they did. Okay, that's good. Everything's fine. No. No power. <laughs> the thing's not running. It's missing the one little section of pipe. They broke the other one, but they didn't fix this one. Like, just, you know what? Just get it done. I just want it done. Just do it. Do it. Just do this too. We're making everything up here really nice and toasty now. <laughs> so much for fixing my temperature problem up there with the oxygen flow. When's the volcano gonna erupt? It's gonna erupt at uh, 212, cycle 212 is when it should go off. Try building floor tiles under the plant tiles. You think so? I mean, these are farm tiles though, they... All right, we'll try it. I don't see why that would make a difference, but we'll see what happens. When I was experimenting with this, they were eating the mealwood no problems whatsoever. So I, I fail to understand why they're not eating it now. What's going on here anyway? 
Growth halted. No harvest pending. These dracos are dead. They're gonna die. It's all over, man. It's all over, man. I'm super confused why they're not eating. Uh, they can't reach the insulated tiles by the volcano. It's blocked by stone. Where? They can run across the top here and do all this. Bup, 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 bup. I'm not sure I understand why it's blocked. They just haven't done it yet because they keep telling them to go somewhere else. So I don't know. It's because all the gas... But the plants are growing. Look, these plants are fully grown. They're ready for harvest. These guys should be able to eat them, but they're not. Even when they're standing right next to it, they'll eat a plant as long as it has 25% growth. It's just not happening. And they clearly haven't been eating much at all because they're like 5%. Mucho confused by that. I don't know. These guys are killing me. Can they only eat healthy plants and when it goes to growth halted they can't eat them? I, I don't know. I mean, so look, he's standing right next to them now. He could stop and eat them, but he didn't. He went right by. Right by. What is wrong with you guys? They're literally going to starve themselves to death because they won't eat the mealwood. You know what I'm going to do with this oxygen flow in here too? I'm going to pump a little bit into this chamber. I'm going to compress the hydrogen at the top and try to keep a flow of oxygen at the bottom. Uh, what kind of gases do we have in here anyway? We have a lot of carbon dioxide, some chlorine, we got hydrogen, we got cesium-124. We got all kinds of junk in here. <laughs> all the stuff we don't want. Um, so let's reconnect this. This is silly. This is going to be a total waste of gases and stuff, but whatever. I want to see what will happen. Actually... It's a thousand. Overpressure's two thousand. Okay. So we should be able to get some oxygen in there anyway. Killing me. They aren't eating because the plants keep going stifled. Do you think that's it? But I mean, they walk right in front of it, and they're sitting in front of the plant when it's not stifled. And these aren't even. These are just like. They've hit max growth. Uh, growth of the atmosphere, so maybe, I don't know. We'll get some oxygen here. We're going to try and create a little layer of oxygen at the bottom. Oxygen and CO2 to insulate the plants. And keep the hydrogen up above it. Hopefully this will all work. Uh, let's put high priority on this, because I want to get this... Oh, that's already a nine. Oh, never mind. Never mind! Get that done first right there. That's good. Uh-oh. <laughs> I just realized the problem. They can't even get out here because I got this thing on. Where'd it go? I like super zoomed and I lost myself. I'm in a place where I don't know where I am. There we go. Uh, this needs to be disabled. Because they have no oxygen, they can't put the suits on. Oh, there's one suit they could have put on. All right. Uh, let's re-enable this building. We actually, we obviously got somebody through there. But where'd he go? Oh, he's running on the treadmill. <laughs> I gotta produce the gas. I gotta make this work. It's gotta go. Forget the fact we haven't finished building everything and I'm completely wasting my time and effort. Come on, buddy. Like, just fix this thing. Insufficient resources. Hydrogen generator. Waiting sandstone for our piping. Honestly, guys. Just get her done. You're done. Oh, look. This is done. This is done. Ooh, this is a super sloppy setup. That is not efficient in any stretch of the imagination. A little bit of hydrogen in there too, because this thing. This thing is not optimal right now. How about you stop running on here for now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ha! There we go. Now we can finally get this thing working the way it's supposed to. 
That was just stupid amounts of work. Too much work. Maybe they'll eat the critter feeder. Well, no, they won't eat from the critter feeder. They, they have to eat the plants directly. There might need to be a wall next to a plant for them to eat it? Uh, no. Not from what I've seen. What I've been, if, like I said, I did a bunch of experimenting with the Dracos, and they'll, if, the, if any of these plants have at least 25% growth, they'll stop and munch on it. Like this one right here, 27%. Oh, just stifled. He should stop right here and eat, but he's not. He's just wandering around, completely ignoring the plants. It makes no sense to me. I got nothing. I, I have no idea why they're not eating. You know what? I'm, I'm, what do I should do? Let's see what happens if I wrangle them. Will it reset their feed counter? Because they go wild? And we have to retame them? And then maybe they'll start eating? Maybe they won't die because we'll wrangle them. It'll reset the feed counter and then we'll be like... It's kind of a cheating the system a little bit. But we'll, I want to see what happens. Don't forget about Joe. Joe's here. Uh, he's got five cycles to get to the volcano. We probably won't even get to the volcano tonight. We'll have to get it next time. That should make an interesting thumbnail. Joe versus the volcano. I'll have to try and figure out a way to put a little Hawaiian shirt on him. Um, I also need to... Oh, wait a minute. Let's fix this gate now since uh, we have oxygen coming in here. To, terrible quantities, though. Ugh. Really? Is that what we're going to work with? I mean, this works, but it's really inefficient. Because I'm splitting the flow twice here. How are we doing gas-wise in this room? Ugh, that's a hot mess, too. That's pretty disgusting, actually. Uh... I was hoping that would be a little bit, a little smoother flow. We've got oxygen like up at the bottom and top. It's all over the place. So let's go ahead and let's just deconstruct this for now. I'll probably continue to use this little room with the algae generator for the for the hydro for the suits um, because I don't. This just isn't refilling it fast enough. It takes so much oxygen to fill the suits up. Plants might need to be active for much longer before they're than they're going now. It, it very well could be. Stupid little pockets of gas in here, just killing them off. I mean, we've got a reasonably good layer. What's what is in here? Carbon dioxide. It's the chlorine that's floating around. It's doing them in. I need to get that chlorine out of there. The other gas is separated into nice layers and stuff. So like CO2 and oxygen all sitting down here. That's all fine with the hydrogen up top, but we're getting chlorine at the bottom here too. And it's just it's not good. That's stupid chlorine gas. Darn that chlorine. Still can't build those tiles by the volcano. The ladder they need to build stone over top. This is the water water? Wait, I'm confused. Hold on. Uh, the ladder they need to build has stone over the top. Needs to be mined. This is coal. That's all coal behind there. Oh, this here you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. All right. Oh, we finished that refined metal too, I think. So we should have metal tile that is in the gold variety. Have we got enough? We don't have enough. <laughs> I need more. Give me more gold. More gold. All right. Get that done. Well, we have like, we now have like four cycles to get a fair amount of stuff built out here to be ready to go. And then it'll be Joe versus the volcano time. Okay, they're all prioritizing this stuff now. They're all running around there without suits on. Until we get this all sorted out. I guess that makes sense. How's our gas temperature now? This is now running through at 18 degrees. Nice. That little bit of extra insulation just in this area here was enough to take care of it. So, oh, that's weird. Uh, okay, hold on. So coming at four degrees. Gas pipe containing chlorine. Oh, that's good. I love chlorine in my gas. What? How did chlorine get in there? They must have gotten in there where they went through the door. This is now all separated. Okay. It's not stellar, but she's working. Let's uh, let's try to set this maybe to 700. The one I have at the top area is set to 750, and it works great. 
This one's not... It's hitting max pressure a little bit too frequently here. Because of the hydrogen, I should think. Hmm. It's funny how inefficient this one's running relative to what we have up here. This one's great. It just goes and goes. It's got a steady, 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 steady concentration. So, let's, uh, let's nuke this block here. Make it identical. Alright, so that's going good. The gas that's coming out of here now is like 19 degrees. It's warming up a little bit as it comes up top. By the time it gets up here, we're still looking at 28.8. .8. So, again, it's a little bit on the warm side. Just a little bit warm. Need a little bit more insulated pipe. Uh, no. What's that for? Stop it. A little more insulated pipe here. That will make everything just about the right temperature. We'll get oxygen and good temperature. Did Joe die yet? No, no. Joe's Joe's good. Joe's not going to die by the... We still have four cycles left, so he's not even... Well, three cycles left. We won't even get through three cycles in the next ten minutes before the stream ends, so I'll probably save Joe for the next one. Ooh, we have a duplicate. Who wants to join the colony? We have one bed left, so we can bring in one more duplicate. Oh my gosh. The flatulent narcoleptic meep would be the great one to be Joe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't want him running around farting for the next four cycles, though. That would just be... That'd be bad. You have one less block and uh, using mesh tiles in the upper... Maker, look. Was I using mesh tiles or was I using... Hold on. I was using airflow tiles. Oh no, I did use mesh tiles. I mean, it should be the same, right? Doesn't it, be doesn't it behave the same way? Mesh tiles made out of iron. Eh, we'll try it. See if it makes a difference. Uh, so, duplicate. We need a duplicate. Me, 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 me. All these people. You're just, you're all, you all want to want to be you because you're not Joe. Anyone, is there anyone in here named Joe? <laughs> That'd be really funny. All right. Uh, let's see. Raging Canadian. I think, I think you are you're actually the first one to jump forward. So let's grab Raging Canadian. Uh, let's see. Tryptophobia. You won't dig. I, I don't want someone who can't dig. That's no good. We always need people that can dig. Anemic. That's terrible also. But having a flatulent meep running around isn't great either. Man, these are wonderful choices. All right, Raging Canadian. You'll be raging because you're so weak. That's what it is. On the plus side, you love to cook and dig. <laughs> Multiple Joes. I have two Joes duking it out in the volcano space. Poe rhymes with Joe. <laughs> Rop, rop, rop. Wait a minute, Polani. Do you have a, a duplicate in here? Oh my gosh. How do we not have a Polani in here? Okay, we need at least one more duplicate coming in then. Because I feel like we need a Polani in here. You've been a, a, like a really big contributor to these streams. Seems a little weird that I don't have a Polani. So we're going to have to bring a Polani in. Some priority. Let's do seven here. I want to get this temperature sorted out. This is this whole thing here is not working too good. We're getting oxygen flow in there now, but it's so low. <laughs> Joe, he's hanging out in the oxygen room. You can't hide there, buddy. It, it doesn't work this way. Okay, I'm gonna use the oxygen that's up here. Uh, this this system technically could work, but it needs such a big supply for these suits that I I'd rather have its own independent supply. So we're just going to deconstruct this. Actually, we'll deconstruct a bunch of these. Get all rid of all those, and then we'll connect up these ones instead. And we'll use a dedicated oxygen flow for the suits the way we had before. Polani can be your visitor in your spare bedroom once you build it. <laughs> yeah, I've got to build another one here. Uh, I should probably tell them to do that. Let's get that started. This one here doesn't even need an insulated floor because it's sitting like right on top of a bizolite. That's like ideal. Uh, what I do need to do though is create a CO2 well because I don't have one currently. So let's maybe not trap a duplicate in here. Let's try and build a little CO2 well. Hold on, hold that thought. 
Hold that thought. There we go. Uh, that's obviously going to nuke this thing. We can deconstruct it. Fabulous. All the bristle blossoms are stunted. Yeah, they haven't been growing for a while because it got too warm there. We need to fix the temperature. We've gone through like 100,000 kilocalories on this stream. We're down to 266,000. They're going to starve soon. <laughs> we have a little bit of excess. It's okay. Uh, these guys, did they get wrangled? They did. Look, they're wild, hungry, happy. So they're hungry, but they're not dying anymore. So wrangling them reset their feed counter. Uh, so it gives us more time to solve the problem with them not eating. Although I'd still love to know why they aren't eating the plants. Like this one right here is, has been... They've been growing fine for a while. It This one has not switched. He was sitting right next to it and didn't eat it. I don't understand the problem. I'm super confused. Make a memorial stone just outside the, outside the volcano just in case. Okay. Oh, we got... Oh, we got a guy in the door. Poor little dude. Ooh, we're cycle 209. I need to speed this up. Let's increase priority here. Finish all that stuff, please. Dig that out, too. We got our triple door done. Oh, so, uh, we can do our little switch in here now. There you go. They build that. Uh, we use this independent switch to create a vacuum space in here. Joe needs a gravestone outside the volcano. We'll put it... Well, maybe we'll put it up top here or something. Once we finish this, I'm going to do a double layer of insulation because the heat that comes out of this thing at 2200 degrees is pretty ridiculous. They can't eat the ones with meal ice on them? Is that what the deal is? All right. Well, let's uh, let's turn on harvesting then and we'll see if that helps. Uh, enable harvest. That way if there's meal ice, I guess that makes sense because that way if the plant grows fully, they won't eat it and kill off your food supply. But even this one right here, it's at 79%. 80%. If they would just wander over and eat it, they're not. They just, they're just completely ignoring it. See, he went right by. I don't know what, I, I don't understand it. Two of my suits have clogged air pipes. Oh, do they really? Yep, they do. We let a little bit of nasty air in there, I guess. Uh, all right, let's deconstruct gas pipes pump down in gas vacuum how do we get a vacuum in here what wedding material delivery algae somebody get that thing some algae how does it not have any algae is this door set up no it's set on auto there we go. There we go. Wrong element damage. Okay, so it took a little damage, but it didn't it doesn't actually block it. Or is it? Does it actually completely block it? No, it's it's recharging with air now. There we go. Okay, it's good. We're good. It took a little bit of elemental damage from getting the wrong stuff, but it, it could be worse. Gotta change your name to GMK forever? I don't get it. They might not be hungry yet since you reset their hunger. No, it said they were hungry. See? Hungry. Uh, they're not tamed yet, though, so I can't see what, what kilocalories they're at. They have a 10,000 kilocalorie max. And they'll generally eat if their if their kilocalorie count gets to nine thousand or below. Uh, we still have the same problems we had before with this whole stifling the business. Just killing me. Twenty seven degrees, twenty six degrees, twenty six. All right, we got like the perfect temperature coming through here now. That's awesome. Uh, it's gonna take a while for this to correct its temperature, but it should happen. I got a little CO2 well down here too with CO2 in it. Perfect. Uh, let's put. Uh, how do I want to deal with that? I could put a gas pump down here, set to pump the CO2 out, and vent it somewhere else to be cleaned up. Ooh, what? Oh, what? You know, we didn't find out what this was either. 
I'm so flighty. I just got so many different things I want to do all the time. <laughs> I'd be so much more productive if I actually focused on one thing at a time. But I can't help myself. It's not a joke. It's just your name, your game name for everything. Oh, I see. JMK stands for the title of a movie. Gotcha. I wonder if the no eating glitch is the same one that made your original one disappear. I don't know. Maybe. I guess it's possible. Lock Joe up tomorrow, just in case. Oh, yeah, we're at cycle 211 already. Ooh, uh, but it's midnight. <laughs> we're sitting at midnight Eastern time. We have one day or one cycle left in order to fix all the stuff in here that I want them to do. However, we're going to call it a wrap for tonight. And tomorrow when we come back, well, not tomorrow, I guess Tuesday when we come back, we'll have Joe versus the volcano. And we'll see what happens there. Uh, let's build all this priority nine. So we got our double insulation going in here. But thanks again, everyone, for coming out to the stream. Uh, thank you also to everyone who provided a super chat. Your support is always greatly appreciated. Joe dodged the bullet for tonight. We're at cycle 211. This this volcano is going to erupt the next cycle. So as soon as we roll into day 212, at some point in there, it's going to go boom. And we're going to have Joe inside the volcano. Just to see what happens to the poor duplicate. Uh, we may not be able to go in and rescue Joe's corpse to put it inside of a tasteful memorial. He may be stuck forever encased in molten carbonite. I mean, molten copper. <laughs> uh, so we'll get, uh, we'll get Joe in there next time. But again, thanks everyone for coming out. Our colony's doing pretty well, I think, so far. We got a chance to build some stuff and play around with things. Uh, obviously, oxygen's in a really good shape now, so we're not worried about that in any way. Um food's in a good place and everything as well so no no problems at all in the colony which is good because we're you know we're cycle 200 and everything's just sitting just perfect and giving us all kinds of time to play but uh, i really appreciate everyone coming out if you don't currently subscribe to the channel go ahead and click on that subscribe button and come back and check out the next stream uh, and also some of the other videos and stuff i'm going to be playing some Fortnite tomorrow night although i think i'm going to be seeing a movie with kazi uh so i might be a little bit late uh starting the stream tomorrow See what the timing looks like for that. Uh, but I'll be playing a little Fortnite. And then on Saturday, I'm planning to play some more Frostpunk uh, or Machiavellian. I'm sort of torn between the two. Um, I'm kind of liking the idea of doing recordings for Machiavellian. So I might just keep putting those out. Uh, and I think I'll probably stream Frostpunk, but I'll decide later. And then uh, probably Sunday, there won't be any stream. I'll just work on recorded stuff. But thanks again, everyone, for coming out. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.